According to sources interviewed by Fox News, Samantha Power, who was Obama's U.N. ambassador from 2013 to 2017 and a political aide before that, made almost daily requests to unmask the identities of U.S. citizens, often with no obvious reason for doing so. Power previously has denied any role in leaking classified information about U.S. citizens. Joel Rubin was a deputy assistant secretary of state under President Obama, and he joins us tonight. Joel, thanks all for coming on. My pleasure. Thanks, Tucker. So this is exactly the kind of scenario the rest of us were assured would not happen when one of these periodic debates about spying on American citizens breaks out. For instance, the NSA. We were told, look, there's no chance anyone's going to spy on you. And if you're talking to someone who's being spied upon, your identity will remain secret. And now we find that a very political, political appointee, Samantha Power, with no background in foreign policy, by the way, just appointed to this position, was unmasking people at the rate of more than one a day. What could possibly be a legitimate explanation for that? Well, Tucker, it's interesting. I was a career officer in a classified position during the Bush administration right? at the State Department, and we would oftentimes read intelligence reports. In fact, first thing in the morning, we would do what they call read-in, and sometimes names would show up that were American, but they would be blacked out, and so one wouldn't see it. And, and that's essentially, that's masking. Uh, but what happens is the Americans end up getting caught up in surveillance when the U.S. is targeting adversaries. And at the U.N., there are many adversaries. As you know, there are many countries who want to do us harm. So if our government is surveilling those countries and American names show up, that's what happens, and those names get masked. And it's very important to understand what is going on. Are these Americans being targeted by these governments? Are these Americans up to no good? And that's oftentimes really what's going on. So how many terror attacks do you think Samantha Power thwarted by unmasking the names of over 200 Americans? Honestly, uh, it, it's, it's not Samantha Power unmasking the names. Uh, what would happen oh. is there would be a request into the FBI, uh, the National Security Agency, whether or not to unmask. They determine whether or not those names get unmasked. And uh, an official, a diplomat in, in this position can't asked to target or identify certain individuals and follow them, uh, there really are rules to, of the road in, in how this proceeds. Doesn't seem like it. And just to be totally clear, in contrast with you, Samantha Power is not a career diplomat. She was a very low-level journalist, a freelancer, and then she was an Obama staffer. And at some point, she worked at Harvard as an academic. So she's a political person. Don't yes. you think that we should be a little uncomfortable that she put in a request of more than one a day for an unmasking as a political person. That doesn't bother you at all? Well, if, if her role was as a political person, I, I could see your point, but she was the American ambassador to the UN. It's a cabinet level position. She had strong bipartisan okay. support in Congress, and uh, she has to be looking out for our national security at the UN. And there are bad guys at the UN. There is North Korea, there's Iran, there's Russia, China, uh, Saudi Arabia. Right. These countries are looking to do harm to the United States in many instances, and we should know what they're up to and who they're talking to, and if they're American okay, but, names popping up. That's a question that, that needs to be uh, figured out. Yeah, I mean, I think these were American. And by definition, I think that these were American names. But yeah, I mean, we don't we, we have a Fourth Amendment, don't we? That says that you can't do if this is a criminal investigation. And I'm the, you know, the investigator. Yes. I come upon information for which I don't have a warrant. I can't use that in the prosecution. I have to put that aside because I don't have a warrant. She didn't have a warrant for this stuff. Like, how does she get an exemption from the Fourth Amendment just because she's like Samantha Power? See, I, I'm not sure that's that's actually what happened, and, and uh, I don't believe that we have seen leaks of names. Uh, and, and frankly, I don't know where the numbers are coming from that, that we're, we're discussing because it sounds like there's leaking going on about this this, this uh, activity. But uh, it, it appears that and uh, it appears that this was held in classified setting as it should be. And then it had continued to hit, uh, stay in classified setting. I'll, I'll leave it at that. But these are classified discussions. I don't think we've seen a plethora of American names coming out in the press uh, of folks who were surveilled. Well, actually, we have. I mean, you, you, saw, you saw it with a number of people in this administration who have been impugned. And, you know, maybe they did something wrong. I don't really know. But all the information that we have right. about what they did yes. or didn't do comes in the form of leaks 
I mean, here's the bottom line. Yes, the Intel yeah, community I, is I, now I acting as a political player in our country, okay? So is that a good thing? Are they not? Are they supposed to be doing that? I didn't think that was their role at all. Uh, I, I would be the first person to agree with you that leaks are dangerous, and we need to ensure that uh, there is no leaking. We don't know the source of the leaking of these names, and that's very important. There are two congressional investigations. I was a congressional staffer. Congress is notorious for leaking, as you know. Uh, uh, but we do need to ensure that uh, names and identities are protected and that if investigations are underway, that the investigations go forward without that kind of noise happening. I, I do agree with that. Yeah. I mean, I hope Michael Flynn did something wrong because his life has been destroyed by the.